Hey everyone, this is my 100th video for this channel, and I wanted to do something a little different than my normal gameplay. So what? What do I show? I didn't know, so I figured I'd show you all how I record and prepare one of these game videos. First off, I wanted to say thank you to all of you who have tuned in, subscribed, who have watched, left comments, it really helps. This is all a hobby for me, and so any validation that others are enjoying it as well really lifts my spirits. So with that said, let's talk about how we assemble an episode. Step one, record the gameplay. This is obviously the first thing I do. I record the gameplay with OBS and set up my audio so that the gameplay sounds are on one track, while the commentary is on a separate track. In the game, I turn off the background music. I do this for a couple reasons. One. Who knows if there will come a day where I'll get a copyright strike for the background music. And secondly, when I edit, the music gets kind of weird because of how I cut. Usually I'll record a couple different sessions in one sitting. Then it's time for step two, editing. So I'm a big fan of DaVinci Resolve and I own a pro license for my day job, but the free version is absolutely good enough for most people. And you don't have to have Adobe reaching into your pocket every month. I drop in my previous tag, previously on Bad Dad Gaming, and then I grab the last episode I did and cut it down to only the highlights. Once the highlights are cut down, I inject my notice about where I got all my Battletech lore knowledge. If you want documentary quality videos about things in the Battletech universe, I cannot recommend the Black Pants Legion enough. If Ken Burns did Battletech, it wouldn't be nearly as good as what the BPL does. Now it's time for the gameplay footage. The Battletech game has a lot of slow moments, and a lot of moments where you're just waiting on the computer to think about things. This doesn't make for good viewing, so I cut them. You're giving me your time to watch my videos, so I want to respect that enough to not waste it waiting for loading screens or parts that don't make sense. How I choose my editing cuts could probably be a whole other video, and maybe someday I'll do something about that in the future. Step three, post. The bulk of the work is done now. Now it's time to do post-production. The first thing I'll do is export a dry version of the video and keep that for the next episode. This is the video I used to cut down for the highlights. What's a dry version? It doesn't have the music bed installed yet. But once that's done, it's time to add the music. My tracks are from Invanto, who I have a subscription to. They're not the best, but I can get both music, stock video, motion graphics, and other things from it, so it's a pretty useful subscription. I used a simple drone music piece for space-based gameplay footage, and at full volume, it sounds like this. For the battle footage, I use these war drum sounds. I think they're sort of reminiscent of the drums from Battlestar Galactica, and I love how they fit with the stompy robots. It's also designed to loop so I can extend the drums for as long as the battle requires me to. Now I need to balance the tracks. I'll pop them into Fairlight, which is also included in DaVinci Resolve, and then I'll adjust the track volumes. I duck the music bed to a level that doesn't interfere with the game or voiceover, usually boost my VO, and find a great balance that sounds good. And we're going to target up on this hunchback, but we're going to turn off the LRMs, turn on the SRMs and uh, turn on as many medium lasers. I don't usually use any effects here, as I'm recording my VO already using a limiter, graphic equalizer, and exciter. Don't worry if you don't know what any of those things are. Again, that might be another topic for another video. After that, it's time for the final step. Step four, upload. I'll quickly scrub through my video to make sure there's no missed cuts or unintentional missing video, and additionally, I'll try to find a picture from the gameplay that looks interesting. I'll grab a screenshot of that, and then it's over to Canva I go. In Canva, I'll upload the screen grab I got, and then use my template to create the thumbnail. The hardest part about this is usually finding a color that will allow the text to pop against whatever image I picked. I update the text with that color, update the sidebar with it as well, and download the cover art. Now it's time to upload to YouTube. The file is uploaded, the thumbnail is uploaded, I add the end screen and cards, 
And that's it. Now it's just waiting for the video to finish uploading, waiting for the video to finish SD processing, and waiting for the video to finish HD processing. Once all that's done, I'll release it to the wild. So that's it. Maybe this was helpful for you. Maybe you thought about creating your own gameplay videos. Go for it. You are only going to get better by doing. I look back at my first video now and what a difference I've made in just these first 100 videos. But thank you. Thanks for sticking around and enjoying Battletech and Power Wash Simulator with me. There's a world of dad games to explore and I'm pleased that you're along for the ride. So until next time, be good to yourself, be good to others, and I'll catch you on the flip side.